from Israel. Uh, 700,000 individuals were studied very carefully, and it showed that natural immunity was about 13 times more protective against getting the infection. It was also more protective against hospitalizations, which is really what we're interested in. And now, uh, it also showed that those who had natural immunity and went out and got a single dose of the vaccine got a little slight increase in their immune protection, but it did sort of answer this question and made it a settled science. Natural immunity is real, it's durable, and it's going strong. And when we require those with natural immunity to get the vaccine, we really didn't have science behind it. It was a hypothesis that our public health leaders had that it would drop off a cliff and it would be, it would be fleeting. It turns out that was a bad hypothesis. It was wrong. And as a result, tens of thousands of Americans died over the spring because we rationed our vaccine supply accordingly. We should have had those with natural immunity step aside as we get more vulnerable people vaccinated. So are you saying that if you are a corporation now that is that is mandating vaccines for people, whether or not they've had COVID before or not, that might be overkill. That in fact, if you have had COVID, you probably do not need a vaccine. That's exactly right. So if a corporation or a university is truly following the science, they would do what we do in science and evolve our strategy as the data come in. This data is overwhelming. It's conclusive. It's a large, uh, sophisticated study. And it clearly shows that those with natural immunity do not have to get a vaccine. They may benefit slightly from one additional dose, but it should not be a requirement for those already immune. By the way, those with chickenpox are told by the CDC, if you had it in the past, you should not get the chickenpox or varicella vaccine. It's the same immune system. It should be the same guidance.